motivational summaries introduce to you the summary of the book Crushing It by Gary Vaynerchuk. How great entrepreneurs build their business and influence, and how you can too. Everyone, including you, can still use social media strategically and successfully to build your personal brand into a business you're proud of. The path is open and accessible as long as you commit fully and are willing to execute. Section 1 of 3. Create a Vibrant Personal Brand The main idea of this section is, there are eight factors which are crucial in building a personal brand which you can monetize at some stage. 1. Intent 2. Authenticity 3. Passion 4. Patience 5. Speed 6. Work 7. Attention 8. Content of these eight factors, content is the one which people tend to get wrong. They worry too much about the aesthetics when instead they should be more concerned about speaking the truth. A good approach is to document your life and career rather than creating a TV show which stars you. Let people know what you truly believe and build a connection and they will respond in droves. Use social media to share the world through your eyes. Consumers today are spending less time than ever on traditional media and more time than ever on social media. For example, YouTube now delivers 1.25 billion hours of video content a day to a growing audience. Network television viewership, by contrast, is in freefall. It is estimated one in every five minutes spent on mobile is spent using Facebook's apps and services. Every minute, 65,900 images and videos are posted on Instagram. Around 3 billion snaps are created every day on Snapchat, where more than 60% of the ads are watched with the audio on. As a result, more and more advertising revenue is moving away from conventional media and towards influencers who have strong personal brands on the various social media sites. That's why the top YouTubers earned a combined $70 million in 2016, and even entry-level Instagrammers can earn $5,000 a year doing two posts per week to 1,000 followers. Gary Vaynerchuk says, Influencer marketing has become a legitimate monetization strategy for building an online profile, which means pretty much anyone in business. End quote. Simply put, the internet has opened a floodgate of opportunity for anyone to become an influencer if you are willing to hustle to grow your fan base through blogs and video channels. To make the most of these amazing opportunities, you have to create a personal brand that will resonate with the people you want to serve. So what does it take to build a strong and vibrant personal brand? There are eight factors which are absolutely essential. 1. Intent Personal brands are for everyone, not just the photogenic or newsworthy types. However, before you set out to build a personal brand, you should ask yourself, why do you want to build your personal brand and become an influencer and ultimately an entrepreneur? There are lots of potential reasons, but the top influencers and successful entrepreneurs of the current generation all tend to share three characteristics. One, they have a personal commitment to serve. Two, they are passionate about providing value. 3. They have a love of teaching. In other words, the top influencers today care about their tribes a lot. Making money from what they do is a natural offshoot of the care and attention they pay to their tribe. That's a good model to follow. Factor 2. Authenticity Gary Vaynerchuk says, you will be a thousand times more successful if you wake up eager to share and create something because you believe the world will enjoy it rather than because you have calculated that this is what you need to do to become an Instagram celebrity. End quote. Authenticity is welcomed by consumers who are immersed in a society where people feel like they are being taken advantage of all the time. Use the modern platforms to give away the good stuff you've got and to showcase what you are genuinely proud of. The more authentic you are in what you do, the more people will forgive your occasional stumbles and missteps. Factor 3. Passion Andy Frisella, founder of Supplement Superstores, says, You're going to go through a time where you're not going to make any money. It's not going to be a week. It's not going to be a month. It's not going to be one year. It's going to be years. And during that time, if you don't love what you do, it's going to be very hard to stick it out. 
That is something people don't understand when they hear, follow your passion, end quote. Pure and simple, there's no point becoming an entrepreneur if you're not passionate about what you do. Your business can't just be a job, it has to be a calling. When you're passionate about giving, you will keep going and not get overwhelmed by the stresses and frustrations that will arise. Passion is your backup generator when all of your other sources of energy sputter or fail. Passion keeps you happy, engaged, and when you love what you do, it makes every choice easier. Gary Vaynerchuk says, We're on this earth for only a short time and the bulk of our adult days are spent at work. It's worth taking the steps necessary to make sure those hours are as rewarding, productive, and enjoyable as possible. Factor 4. Patience Passion and patience go hand in hand. More than likely, living in line with your passions will require that you go slower than you might want to when you're building your business. That's perfectly okay, because you're in it for the long haul anyway. Be prepared to work hard for years and years in relative obscurity before you become an overnight success. Bide your time. Deliver consistently high levels of value and put your employees ahead of yourself. When you start to get some cash flow happening, pay off your debts and live simply. Never forget the customer is always right, so put yourself last. You'll have plenty of time to live it up once you reach your goals, so don't get sidetracked early in the piece. It's just not worth the hassle. Factor 5. Speed While you may be working long-term to build a great personal brand and influencer business, you also need to be doing your day-to-day -day tasks with speed. Use every tool at your disposal to increase the amount of work you get done every day. You have to be in action mode all the time. Don't overthink your content or get paralyzed by the decisions you have to make. Make a call and get moving. If it turns out to be wrong, you'll be able to chalk up another learning experience. Gary Vaynerchuk says, Being unafraid of making mistakes makes everything easy for me. Not worrying about what people think frees you to do things, and doing things allows you to win or learn from your loss, which means you win either way. You are better off being wrong 10 times and being right 3 than you are if you try only 3 times and always get it right. End quote. Gary Vaynerchuk says, When it comes to professional opportunities, this is the best time to be alive in the history of humankind. I don't want anyone to waste it. Factor 6. Work. When you first try and get something going for yourself, the brutal truth is you won't have any time available for leisure. More than likely, you'll need to work a full-time day job to pay the bills and then work from 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. on your own project, plus all day Saturdays and Sundays. <laughs> if that's what it takes, be prepared to put in that kind of effort. Block out the hours you must spend on your obligations and then use every other minute to produce content, distribute content, engage with your community, or do business development. Make every minute count. Stefan Marinaro, the salon guy on YouTube, says, if you sit on your butt all day waiting for things to come to you, nothing is going to happen. Factor 7. Attention To truly crush it, you've got to know what your ideal customers are talking about today. You need to know the latest trends, the biggest controversies, and pretty much everything else as well. That's the only way you will be able to attract eyeballs in the future. Influencers are good at spotting underpriced or underappreciated items and drawing people's attention to them. You need to be able to see the next big thing earlier than your fans. That also means you can't get locked into one platform or another, but instead need to be changing with the times alongside your tribe. Gary Vaynerchuk says, Don't become so comfortable on one platform that you don't take the time to develop solid skills on the others. Keep experimenting even when you're sure you're doing it right. Your willingness to risk discomfort will save you in the long run. There are a lot of you whose competitors were mastering Instagram five years ago just in case it got really big while you were still debating whether to get an account. Don't make that mistake again. End quote. Factor 8. Content The only way to build your personal brand and become an influencer is to be pumping out high-quality content all the time. Great content is the result of passion plus expertise. You have to make sure you're constantly learning more and providing people with information and insights they can't find anywhere else. So how do you do that? It's simple. 1. 
Create one big piece of content and then splinter it off into micro chunks of content, which you then personalize and optimize for different social media platforms. People go to Twitter to keep up with current news. They go to Snapchat for a blip of entertainment on their lunch break. They go to Facebook to keep up with family and friends. They go to YouTube for long-form video to learn or be entertained. Develop high-quality micro-content which is optimized for each specific platform. 2. Make your learning process your content. Document how you are improving your craft every day. Let others learn by watching alongside you and share the world through your eyes. Tell engaging stories which bring your fans along for the ride. Document how you're building your brand, and you'll be in fact building an audience that you can one day monetize. 3. Always put out the highest quality content you are capable of producing, and keep working at it. Engage with your audience, analyze what they like, adapt what other successful brands are doing, and note what resonates. The quality of your materials will always be improving, but people will still love the authenticity of your first steps, so document everything, warts and all. 4. Take risks. Put your stuff out into public and then hustle like crazy to try and live up to it. The market will decide whether your stuff is valuable or not, so keep producing more and more content all the time. Gary Vaynerchuk says, Align all eight of the essentials – intent, authenticity, passion, patience, speed, work ethic, ability to track consumer attention and master social platforms, and content – and you have the closest thing to a formula for crushing it that I can offer. Yet I know that even a so-called formula won't be enough to get some of you to go into do mode. Every day I meet people who swear they are going to start their own thing. <laughs> Most won't. End quote. There are three fears which can stop people from crushing it with their own personal brands. 1. Fear of failure. 2. Fear of wasting time. 3. Fear of seeming vain. 1. Fear of failure. You might dislike people having a negative opinion of your work. The reality is there will always be negative people in the world. Choose to ignore them and give yourself permission to be sole judge and jury. If others like what you do, that's great, but do work that you love. Work harder and longer than you ever have in your life and you'll do fine. 2. Fear of wasting your time, which is not an issue until you reach age 35. Before that point, you can always slip back into the 9-to-5 grind and get back on your feet. The reality is, to build your personal brand, you're probably only giving up time you would have frittered away on TV or video games anyway. Fear of seeming vain, like glorified narcissism. Forget about it. Embrace it. Everyone who is crushing it today has opinions which they put out there at the drop of a hat. You'll need to do the same. Everything will feel unnatural and artificial until you get used to it, so accept that and move on. In short, give yourself permission to take the leap and build your personal brand using social media platforms. Nobody else can do that for you, so make the most of it. Gary Vaynerchuk says, The most exciting part about being an entrepreneur today is that we're still living in the early years. The pool is crowded, but there is still plenty of room for you. Get in while you can. Sometimes you just have to jump in the pool, even when you're scared. Find your courage and strengthen your self-esteem until you feel brave enough to make some noise and invite people's attention. Then, show them that you care deeply about keeping it." End quote. Gary Vaynerchuk also says, Education and execution are the keys to this new world. End quote. Gary Vaynerchuk also says, People often tell me they want to be like me. I'd rather you be like you, but if you really want to be like me, quit being a student of entrepreneurship and start doing the goddamn work. If you do, this will be the last business book you'll need to read. Success will happen faster for some people than for others, but if you're loving life and doing what you feel you were born to do, you'll be going in the right direction. Stay the course. It pays to be brave." End quote. Gary Vaynerchuk also says, Remember, you're not trading in your day job for an easier life. There's nothing easy about becoming an entrepreneur and influencer. You're trading it in for a different life, one with more flexibility and fun." End quote. Gary Vaynerchuk also says, If you're learning what you need to live the life you want and loving every day of it, you're crushing it. That's all I want for you. Gary Vaynerchuk also says, None of the people interviewed for this book knew they'd become rich. 
they became rich because they were incredibly, ridiculously good at what they do and work so goddamn hard, no one else could keep up. Most started out with modest ambitions of earning enough to enjoy the good things in life, finding stability, supporting themselves and their families, and living on their own terms. Achieve that kind of wealth and you won't need riches. And who knows, maybe in the process of getting there you will discover that you do have the talent and marketing savvy to become a millionaire. There's only one way to find out. Either way, you win. End quote. Gary Vaynerchuk also says, If hundreds of thousands of people can figure out a way to crush it, isn't it possible that you could too? Isn't it at least worth a try? End quote. This is a summary of the book Crush It! by Gary Vaynerchuk. Section 2 of 3. Build Your Social Media Pillars The main idea of this section is... To use social media to your advantage, three approaches or strategies are required. 1. Create a Facebook business or fan page. 2. Learn how to use relevant hashtags. 3. Look for collaborations, partnerships, or alliances. 1. Create a Facebook business or fan page. Gary Vaynerchuk says, No matter what kind of influencer you want to become, everyone must start with this step. Create a Facebook business page. Facebook is the cost of entry to building a personal brand. Don't ever underestimate Mark Zuckerberg. Don't ever bet against Facebook. End quote. Job number one in building your personal brand is to have a Facebook page where you can put your content for people to find it. Fill it with great content which highlights what you're good at. Have all your information and educational videos point back to your Facebook page where you talk with people and answer their questions. Fill it with interesting stories to make it vibrant and valuable. 2. Learn how to use relevant hashtags. Hashtags are the way to inject your brand into ongoing conversations and to make yourself relevant. Be smart about how you use them, but keep in mind this is a growth strategy which is an unbelievably long grind. Stay the course, however, and keep hashtagging your way to the top. The more hashtags you use, the more online conversations you can get injected into. You can then do your homework and figure out where you can add the most value and make your case. Gary Vaynerchuk says, Now there's something you should know. Right this minute I have around 500 DMs from people who want something from me. You know what I have to say to them? <laughs> Mazel tov and go away. And that's if I'm in the mood to be nice. Why would I encourage you to try to get other influencers' attention when I ignore or reject the majority of the people who try this tactic with me? Because if they were doing it right, I wouldn't reject them. If I felt they weren't just trying to use me, if I thought they were genuinely trying to be helpful, if they could recognize a hole in my business and had the knowledge and skills to fill it, I might consider talking to them. End quote. 3. Look for collaborations, partnerships, or alliances. Once you put your stuff out there, you then sit back and see which influencers pick up on what you have. You then contact them directly and offer to collaborate with them. That is, you offer to post content on their pages or to work together to create some awesome content. If they see an upside to working with you, they will respond. If they don't, they probably won't answer when you direct message them. Keep in mind that as you reach out to influencers this way for 6 or 7 hours a day, you'll likely eventually find someone who is willing to work with you. If not, you've at least raised your profile with a few thousand potential customers who until now didn't even know you were alive. Gary Vaynerchuk says, Provide something valuable to your collab partner and you'll quickly raise your profile as an influencer and in all likelihood make a new friend. I won't lie. Biz deving this way is hard, tedious, and time-consuming. I like tedious. It means most people won't do it. If you do, you will win. If you've got the money to run ads on all these platforms or pay influencers to feature your product, more power to you. But if you're just starting out and have no money, this is the number one thing you can do to build your brand." End quote. This is a summary of the book Crushing It! by Gary Vaynerchuk. Section 3 of 3. Extend Your Brand's Reach The main idea of this section is, once you've got your pillars in place, you can then get to work expanding your brand's reach on social media. There are presently eight platforms which are worth keeping an eye on and using to build your personal brand. 1. Musical.ly 2. Snapchat 3. Twitter 4. YouTube 
5. Facebook 6. Instagram 7. Podcasts 8. Voice First Platform 1. Musical.ly Musical.ly, that's musical.ly, is an app which lets users, called musers, make and show off video clips up to 5 minutes long. It appeals to tweens and teens and is widely used by ballerinas, makeup artists, gymnasts, jugglers, athletes, rappers, and vloggers. This platform currently has 200 million users, 30% of whom spend 30 minutes or more each day using the app. While Musical Lee's young audience probably won't be your target market, young consumers have a way of growing up. They can also have input into the decisions their parents make about what to buy. The good thing about Musical.ly is there's less competition, so you can stand out. To crush it on Musical.ly, work those hashtags. Produce great content which aligns with an emerging trend and use that to leave a trail back to your website and to your other content on other media platforms. Collaborate. Reach out to a community by engaging with those who are well entrenched. Comment on what people are doing, co-create, and share. Put out a series of mini-lessons that your customers need and package them in an entertaining way. Put out little snippets on the platform which reflect your day-to-day -day challenges and successes. For example, Dr. Chitra Durgam is a dentist in New Jersey. Every day, she posts lip-synced music videos on Musical.ly, which highlight dental procedures like tooth whitening. She also posts public service announcements and educational clips. Despite the fact she's a 44-year-old dentist, all the musers know her and follow her. When their parents talk about dentists, they say, Mom, look at this video. I want to go to this dentist. Using Musical.ly combined with Snapchat and Instagram has generated a 30% increase in new patients for her practice. Dr. Durgram also has other doctors and dentists asking for help with their social media campaigns, and she has been featured on Fox's Good Day New York. Gary Vaynerchuk says, Writing hashtags is one of the bedrocks of social media and a key to discoverability. End quote. Platform 2. Snapchat Gary Vaynerchuk says, Despite its 173 million daily active users DAU, and its 10 billion daily video views, and the approximately 18 visits it enjoys from its DAU per day, Snapchat remains another massively underestimated platform. Let me clue you into an important tell. When the normals, that is the non-tech, non-business crowd, are the first to start spending inordinate amounts of time on a platform, that's the signal to start paying close attention. That's what drew me to Musical.ly early on, and it's why I knew Snapchat had an exciting future when it first came out in 2011. I saw it as the first social network to closely recreate the way we communicate face-to-face." -face. Snapchat consistently rates as one of the most popular downloads in the App Store, so this platform is definitely working as well as you can. Some people have moved away from Snapchat with the arrival of Instagram Stories, but Snapchat is still very big. And best of all, Snapchat users are highly engaged. Snapchat still is a great training ground for becoming a superior marketer and branding expert. You just have to play the long game rather than being driven solely by this month's sales numbers. To crush it on Snapchat, collaborate. There are no hashtags to piggyback, so you have to work with other people to gain followers and endorsers. Create Snapchat events and get your friends and influencers to attend. This is a great way to gain platform visibility. Always mention Snapchat in your blog posts so you can gain some traction with the media as a Snapchat expert. Get yourself listed at the 11 secondcom where a directory of Snapchat influencers is being put together. Or circulate your own lists of who should I follow on Snapchat articles with your name at the top. Figure out ways to engage other Snapchat users because that's the only way to move ahead. Tell stories and ask other Snapchat users for their ideas. Give people reasons to laugh and have fun. 3. Twitter Gary Vaynerchuk says, Twitter is the water cooler of society, that place where everyone goes to get the latest update on whatever news or pop culture event is occurring. The only difference is that, while office workers used to have to wait until the day after an event to gather around and share their knowledge and opinions, now, that conversation is happening in real time, 24-7." End quote.
Twitter is where you can listen, react, and hijack conversations. The only problem is people like to talk a lot and aren't generally all that great at listening. The sheer volume of conversations on Twitter at any one time is problematic if you hope to stand out. Really, what you need to do with Twitter is metaphorically grab people by the shoulders and point them towards your website, your YouTube materials, or your podcast. To crush it on Twitter, be patient. It will take lots of tweets with good quality material before you can attract and keep people's attention. Stick with it, and Twitter can and will pay off impressively. Use Twitter to jumpstart biz dev opportunities or collaborations, because there will be less competition for an influencer's attention here than on other platforms. Use the retweet feature to generate instant awareness. Ride that wave to propel your material towards the biggest influencers. Think of this as digital word of mouth, which is great. Get into the habit of posting material on Twitter every day because on Twitter, you're just one comment away from getting widely noticed and making a name for yourself. Engage anyone and everyone. Use Twitter to show the world your unique personality and perspective. Get immersed in every trending topic and online conversation. Gary Vaynerchuk says, I talk about working 12, 14, or 17-hour days because that's what it took most of today's success stories and entrepreneurial role models to get to where they are. I don't actually recommend unhealthy lifestyles like getting too little sleep or isolating yourself from your family. Which would you rather have, a long night's sleep and 16 hours of misery every day, or a little less sleep but 20 hours of wide awake joy? I'll pick joy every time, and so will most people who are crushing it." End quote. 4. YouTube Gary Vaynerchuk says, I suspect YouTube has created more wealth and more opportunities in the crush it model than any other platform to date. It's certainly the most important platform for building a personalized brand, although Instagram is closing the gap quickly. It could take the place of television. Increasing numbers of people are streaming YouTube onto their TV screens, and during primetime hours on an average day in the United States, more 18-49 to 49 year olds visit YouTube than any TV network, even on mobile alone." End quote. The great thing about YouTube is, you don't have to be TV network caliber good looking to crush it here. Ordinary people can do just fine with YouTube, and it's perfectly acceptable for you to learn as you go. The key to success with YouTube is simply to make your content interesting. Gary Vaynerchuk says, Every single thing that has ever happened on television can happen on YouTube. You can break out as a pop star. You can be a filmmaker. You can become Billy Mays, the infomercial pitchman. You want to become a morning TV star? Start a morning TV show on YouTube. You want to be the next Dr. Drew? Start a Q&A show. You want to be the next Rachel Ray, Oprah, Tavis Smiley, or Chris Hardwick? Then start cooking, mentoring, interviewing, or talking pop culture on YouTube tomorrow." End quote. To crush it on YouTube, make content you love, regardless of whether you have two fans or two million fans. The best YouTube materials documents the challenges people overcome to achieve their goals. You'd be amazed at how that can inspire other people and attract the attention of companies who will pay you well to make similar videos for them. Document your journey rather than create fiction. Make sure you handle the basics well. Have good titles which reflect your content, descriptions which are keyword optimized, tags in the description, and good thumbnails and YouTube cards. Put together a good banner, channel trailer, and playlists which tell your backstory succinctly and entertainingly. Go with your gut. YouTube isn't going to automatically make you charismatic and interesting, but it will spotlight who you are and what you believe. That's great. Be down to earth rather than perfect. Put up plenty of material which shows you in action, and be in this for the long haul. And give yourself enough time to succeed. YouTube success often requires years of effort, not weeks or months. Always invite people to give you feedback and ignore the trolls. Listen to your audience and let things evolve in the direction they are suggesting. Above all else, make it clear and obvious you know your stuff and are prepared to stand up and be counted for your point of view. YouTubers will love that and respond. 5. Facebook Gary Vaynerchuk says, If you're going to build a personal brand and try to monetize it, 
you have to have a Facebook page, period. It has almost 2 billion monthly active users, more than half of whom use it daily. There are 1.15 billion daily active users on mobile. If you're crushing it on Snapchat, YouTube, or Instagram, but don't have a full throttle Facebook strategy, you're severely limiting your potential in growth." End quote. The key advantage of Facebook is its flexibility. You can post long format written materials, videos, or podcasts, for example, and they will all work. Facebook also offers the greatest ad targeting product ever created. In essence, you can take all content which you post elsewhere and bring it all together on your Facebook fan page or business page. Facebook quite simply is the most comprehensive distribution channel going. Gary Vaynerchuk says, Facebook is the first platform that has combined the ability to do marketing, sales, and branding all in one place. And it is still vastly underpriced for the amount of attention you can get there from its nearly 2 billion monthly users. End quote. Facebook Live gives you the ability to engage directly with viewers in real time. Lots of people are using it to set up their own reality show which highlights what they excel at. Admittedly, you need to have some technical skills to make this work and be professional. But there is no question Facebook Live is the next big thing. Facebook is also a superb collaboration tool. You can find popular fan pages for pretty much anything you can imagine and message them and arrange some kind of special offer which will work for them and for you. Collaborating through Facebook is a great way to quickly build a huge audience for your personal brand. To crush it on Facebook, create a pillar piece of content like a weekly podcast or a weekly online magazine. Fill it with interesting material so people get to know what you're expert at. Generate feeder items for your pillar content which you then post on other social media platforms directing people back to your Facebook page. This can be images, follow-up articles, mini video clips, etc. Generate some brief educational videos which lead back to your pillar content. Look at spending $50 or less to run some Facebook ads to reach more of your ideal prospects. Join as many Facebook communities as you possibly can and get involved in all the group discussions which are happening. Try and add lots of value to the group without asking for anything in return. Once you become an influencer in the groups, people will check out what you do without being forced to do so. 6. Instagram Gary Vaynerchuk says, Except for YouTube, Instagram has created more famous people than any other platform. It's massive. It's a place where you can be equally successful as a content producer or a content curator, and it's the hottest social network in terms of scale and impact. Although its content is bite-sized like Twitter's, nothing in its structure makes it ideal for having conversations. Yet there are so many great tactics you can use to garner awareness, hashtags, collaborations, tagging, ads, that I believe the attention an influencer can enjoy here, especially skilled photographers, chefs, designers, and other artists, runs deeper than on Twitter or Facebook." End quote. Instagram is the perfect way to really showcase what you can do and reach out to people. If you inject some fun and creativity into your images, Instagram rewards that highly. It's the perfect business development platform for all kinds of brands, products, and services. To crush it on Instagram, make sure your Instagram is full of incredible content, the absolute best you can make. Instagram users will gauge what you're about by what you post, so be creative. Search for relevant keywords and make sure you include them with whatever you post. Click on the first and most popular hashtag that shows up and every other picture with that hashtag. That should reach thousands or maybe even millions of Instagrammers. Look at what the people or the companies in your industry are doing on Instagram and see if you can collaborate with them in some way. In every Instagram post, there are three dots in the upper right corner which you can use to direct message them. Talk with other Instagrammers person to person and don't spam them with cut and paste boilerplate. When you message Instagrammers, always cover the big three points which are 1. This is what drew me to you. 2. This is why I am worth paying attention to. 3. This is the value I can offer you. Gary Vaynerchuk says, do this. Search, click, investigate, DM for 6 to 7 hours every day. Do it during every lunch break, every bathroom break, every time you're waiting for your child to get out of dance class, and in the 20 minutes you've got before the enchiladas come out of the oven. 
Only a tiny fraction of the people you reach out to will respond. That's all you need. With every successful contact, you increase your ability to prove yourself worthy of any attention at all, and you increase your visibility. Do this enough times and the effect will snowball until suddenly you'll be the brand that people and businesses start reaching out to." End quote. Brittany Javier of Thrifts and Threads says, So many people write me and say, I wrote a post and no one read it. So how would I grow that? I'm like, you didn't even do any consistent work. I worked so much on the weekends and nights while working my other job. I didn't go out with my friends. I didn't go out on dates. We literally stayed at home and worked on our computer after our daughter went to bed. It's a lot of writing. It's a lot of research. You don't just sign up. For my first year, I wasn't making any money, maybe $100 or $200 a month. It was nothing. People don't understand that part. I was seeing a return on my readership, and my following was growing, and that was motivating me. But for someone starting a blog who wants to make it specifically for money, it's a hard way to start because you're not passionate about what you're doing. You have to love what you do. End quote. 7. Podcasts Gary Vaynerchuk says, Today, my podcast sits comfortably and consistently in the list of the top 150 podcasts on Apple's charts. Some of those who listen are brand new to my content, and others already follow me on other channels. Either way, it gives me one more way to share my content, build my influence, and help people get started building the life they want. The two key advantages of podcasts are they are less intimidating to produce than a video program, and podcasts sell time. They are designed for people to listen to while they are out and about doing other stuff. For example, for the 139 million consumers in the United States who spend 29.6 billion hours a year traveling to and from work, podcasts are the ideal way to turn that commute time into learning time. There's no secret formula for crushing it with a podcast other than to produce the absolutely best content you can. That's it. You can certainly promote your podcast through other social media channels and by advertising or by collaborating with some big players, but realistically, that's about all you can do. Your podcast will generally rise or fall on the strength of your content, nothing else. Savvy podcasters today create a great podcast as their central content pillar and then distribute microbytes from that podcast far and wide in order to build awareness. If you can do this, you can post micro-content on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and then engage with the people who respond. If you're lucky, that can lead to invitations to speak at conferences and also opportunities to co-develop other products and services, which you can then sell through your podcast. Podcasts work really well for building your personal brand and becoming an influencer. Just make sure your content is genuinely world-class and everything else will follow from there. 8. Voice First Gary Vaynerchuk says, I day trade attention, and lately, I am particularly interested by what people pay attention to during the transitions of their day, especially the three that occur in the home, what they do during the first 15 minutes of their morning, the first 15 minutes after they come home from work, and the last 15 minutes before they go to sleep at night. Those are transition periods. They're the moments when we take stock, get updated, and plan for the next few hours of our lives. We're busy, so we want to do it fast. There was a time you'd pull out a pen and paper and start a to-do list, turn on the radio, or even check an app. Now, though, you don't even have to do that. All you have to do is talk. End quote. In 2016, Google announced 20% of the searches on its mobile app are done by voice. The two big players in its voice first are Amazon's Alexa and Google's Assistant. More and more people will interact with smart devices by voice in the future, and you have to put your content into a format which will align with this amazing new platform. To crush it with voice first, keep your content super brief, like a one-minute version of your hour-long podcast. Gary Vaynerchuk delivers flash briefings on Amazon and Google, which are one-minute daily motivational tips. Make it native. Develop specific voice-first content rather than merely cutting your podcast into pieces. Get to the point quickly and make your information nuggets easily digestible. Make your voice-first content high quality. Use your imagination and creativity to craft something which is new and fresh. Be remarkable right out of the gate. You only have a few milliseconds to win them over 
or else they will tell Alexa to remove you. Gary Vaynerchuk says, My intuition is that all the brands in the how-to space will flock to voice first by 2020, and they will battle to be the ones chosen to teach people to make cookies and pair wine and get better at chess and clean carpets. It'll be our on-the-go resource too. When changing our oil in the garage, we won't pull out the car manual or Google how to change your oil. We'll just call out, tell me how to change my oil. And the voice first technology sitting on a shelf or mounted on the wall will ask us what kind of car we drive, then walk us through the process with step by step instructions. Right now we're putting voice first tech in only one or two rooms in the house. In the future, we won't go anywhere without it. End quote. Gary Vaynerchuk says, You know where we are in this game? We haven't even heard the national anthem. We haven't even gotten to the parking lot. I cannot wait to see what platforms we're talking about in nine more years. I'm never afraid of the future. It's practically a national sport to reminisce about how much easier and slower life was in the past. People wonder if we're sacrificing something irreplaceable, perhaps even changing the human condition as we become increasingly obsessed with speed and productivity. I don't worry about it because we are simply doing what we've always done, what we were probably born to do. We wax nostalgic, but our actions betray us. How many people above the age of 13 in America do not have a cell phone? <laughs> Practically no one. As long as we exist, humans will continue to embrace whatever inventions and innovations offer us the most speed and convenience. You're not going to lose your soul if you do this. In fact, if you're truly an entrepreneur, you're going to get it back." End quote. This has been a summary of the book, Crushing It! How Great Entrepreneurs Build Their Business and Influence and How You Can Too. Written by Gary Vaynerchuk.